All right, we are here at the Utica Goodwill. It is still raining, so we're gonna run inside. Um, I am very proud of myself because I still have my hair down. I am one for always putting my hair up um, when I get hot. I have my hair twisty, so it probably won't be very long before it is up. But let's go visit the Utica Goodwill. Um, I love the shape of the building. It is very like mid-century and <laughs> it looks like a little lodge. Like I love it. I, I just love it. So I'm really excited to see. So let's head inside and see what's going on. All right, right inside the door, looking around, painting right to left. You can really tell it used to be a hardware store. It was so cool. But right inside the door there to the right, they have their wall of their new items, like the socks and uh, bras, underwear, things like that. They have some beds there for sale, prom dresses hanging up because that time of the year is on its way. And then they have their two rows of women's, and then I do believe they just had two rows of men. They're right beside it. And then I think they have one row of kids. So kind of a small... Um, kind of a small clothing section, but for the size of the store fits. And I was looking here for jeans for myself um, for vacation. So I found one pair that I debated, this pair here. Uh, I debated. <laughs> um, yeah. I just figured it was going to be draw more attention to my bottom half, so I decided not to mess with it. And then this is their section there for blankets and curtains and things like that. <clears throat> then you turn a corner and then there's the men's. And then I do believe the kids. So, you know, three rows. But, like I said, for the size of the store, the area fits very well. These are some shelves with just some of their knickknacks items. Disney collector plates there in one of their little stands. And then you turn to the right um, from the clothes and there's another little little shelf there and there's a restrooms and then it goes into the uh, toys. And this is their little section here with the bigger items, the stands and bigger baskets and dressers and stuff like that. <clears throat> These are their little activity area. They did have bags of Beanie Babies in bags that were like for comforters, like the bigger zip bags. Um, they had six or seven bags of those there. And I do, I think, I believe I saw that they had $100 on them. 
not too much, I'm not too sure about Beanie Babies, but, um, from what I've seen, you know, they're only worth like a dollar or two a piece. But, it's very misleading if you look on eBay on souls for Beanie Babies, because it was something to do with some kind of like a smuggling something. Like, you'll see a Beanie Baby and it said that it sold for like $25,000. It, it doesn't, <laughs> um, it doesn't sell for that, so... Just be aware with Beanie Babies. They're a little misleading. This is their little craft area. And these were little styrofoam pieces with like cars and stuff. And then I'll just let you look here. If I find, if I see anything pointed out to you, I'll let you know. I really hope I can pick up their volume. <laughs> that I can pick up them talking. Because Trey, he's in there telling his brother. He's like, oh, you're doing a good job. It's so cute. Cute, cute. This is their Easter section. I love these shelves too, by the way. They don't have the slats in them. But when you set stuff down, you feel like they're going to fall through. <laughs> uh, the wood the wood shelves are nice. It's a nice security thing. This is some of their vases. And some new items. This is back into their kit, their kitchen section. They had a plate warmer down there at the bottom, right there. The whole thing just gets warm, and I think you can set like a ceramic or glass plate on it, and it keeps the plate warm plus the food. I do believe they're vintage from 70s ish, maybe. I have a green one that's very mid-century modern that I haven't listed yet. I need to find a new cord for it. This 
some more Rick Ross though. And then they have this end cap here with mugs on it, and I ended up finding one um, that I personally am keeping. I'm giving it to my oldest son. Uh, he's a big NASCAR fan and Dale Earnhardt fan. Um, so I got that for him. It was half off. It had $10 on it, and blue was half off this day, so I got it for 5 it's still a little bit more expensive than, for a mug than what I would like to pay, but it was pretty neat, so I got it. This little uh, canister here to hold tea was really cute. It was I had a bisque finish. I feel, I think that's the rough, the rough finish. Is it bisque? It's very pretty. Little planter. more of their canisters, salt and pepper shakers, oil jars, things of that nature. He's cheering you up. That's when he tells you. Um, he'll clap for you. He's like, I'm cheering you up. I'm cheering you up. I'm like you're cheering us on. <laughs> that little Frigidaire dish. A little fridge dish there. Um, I tried too many times to take the lid off and realized it was taped. Uh, but with it being clear, it, I, I, I left it because I think they had the price tag was a little higher. Now these mugs here I did end up picking up. They are Pottery Barn and there's a set of eight and they are all the different reindeer and all eight reindeer are there. Um, they don't have the ninth for Rudolph. I think he was sold separately. I don't think he was in the set. Um, but I, I paid $12.99 for them for the set, which is a little bit more than I would like to spend on a set, but, um, last set of eight sold for about 60 bucks. All right. Just finished Utica. Uh, the building, like I said, it looked like it was like mid-century modern and it used to be a hardware store. And you really definitely get that vibe <laughs> when you walk inside. Um, it was a very cute store. They had it all sorted out perfectly the same way the other stores have been. <laughs> There's really not much in this franchise I can complain about. So good job, guys. <laughs> all right, so now we are going to go to the next Goodwill, which is Johnstown. But you guys will have to wait for that one, and I will see you guys in the next video in Johnstown, Ohio. Bye.